What's up, everybody? Bill and Benny here. Benny's making the return for uh, the review of Batman vs. Superman. We just went and seen it. Or is it Superman vs. Batman? Which one is it? Batman vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman. And Benny liked it, right? You yes, liked I it? Did. Yeah. I didn't like it. I fucking thought it was confusing. I think I'm getting too old for these fucking movies. I can't understand them. Benny, were you confused? Yeah, I was confused in it, but I think it was a good movie. So you don't care if it's confusing or not, if it doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright, well, I'm like, you know, because it was, well, first of all, it was like, what, two and a half hours long, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. thought it was too fucking long. And then I'm like, am I just stupid, or is this movie stupid, or is it so fucking poignant, like one of them fucking foreign films, that I'm just too stupid to fucking understand it? But you didn't understand it either, right? Yeah. Alright, both of us didn't understand it. And here's the first thing, and this pisses me off every time we go to the movies together, Benny. We had some good fucking seats, right? Yeah. And what did I say? There was one seat open next to me. One fucking seat. Not even areas for two people to sit. One seat. And what did I say, Benny? Didn't I say, you watch, as soon as the previews mm -hmm. start, some son of a bitch is going to want to sit next to me. And what happened? Someone did. Someone did. They sat right fucking next to me. And it fucking pissed me off. Because I like to be able to spread my arms out on the <laughs> side. You know what I mean, Benny? Yeah, yeah and I got fucked. <laughs> yeah. I got fucked again at the movie theater. And it's not like we even had the best seats in the middle. If this guy wanted one seat, I don't know why he didn't go to the middle. But fuck him. Fuck him. And uh, you know who else? I'm going to say, fuck Batman. I think Batman is a dick. Do you think Batman was a dick in the movie? I hate to say it, but yeah. Batman all of a sudden had all this hatred towards fucking Superman. And uh, I think, and your mom also thinks, I think that Batman was jealous of Superman. <laughs> because Batman's a pussy compared to Superman. What do you think? Well, I think Batman has swag. All right. Well, I think that Batman is a dick and a pussy. Although, in the movie, you know, and here's just, you know, we're going to give some spoilers, and I don't know how much I can give a spoiler, because I don't know if I could explain the movie to you again, but maybe Benny might give up some fucking spoilers. But Batman somehow kicked Superman's ass, again, with the kryptonite, just yeah. like you knew it was going to happen, and I don't understand this either. Those are the boys. Why doesn't Superman just fucking wear a lead suit since kryptonite can't get through fucking lead why doesn't he just uh wear some kind of lead suit when he knows he's going to be around kryptonite wouldn't that make sense benny yeah but movie that's the answer but movie that's exactly the answer and here's the other thing um Nowadays, you know, i feel like my grandmother it's like i don't know, i don't know any of the new actors in movies it's like I knew Ben Affleck, who I think looks like George Clooney now with the salt and pepper hair. I don't even know the name of the guy that plays Superman. I don't know the name of the gal that plays Lois Lane. I did like Wonder Woman. I don't know her name, but I definitely like her. Good-looking gal. Um, but it's like, like I said, I feel like my grandmother. I'm like, where's Sidney Poitier and where the fuck is, uh, who else? Rock Hudson and fucking, uh... Do you even know who those people are, Benny? No. Well, where's John Wayne? Uh, and I prefer John Wayne. I think from now on, I'm just going to watch John Wayne movies next time I decide I'm going to go to the fucking movies. And here's another thing. So I'm, like, all fucking hung out. I don't know who any of these people are. And then, like, there'll be scenes coming, and I'll be like, is this the same guy that was just in the other scene? Like, they all look the same to me, Benny. Do you have that problem? No. I'm like, they all look, I'm like, is this guy, did we already see him before? Is, and then I'm always like this, is this guy a good guy or a bad guy? And in this movie, it's hard to tell, because is Batman good or bad? And is Superman good or bad? And did you get this too, Benny? It seemed like the American people all of a sudden hated fucking Superman. Oh, you know? Yeah. Like, they're fucking, like, the American people are fucking dicks. Don't and I guess, uh, you know, that's getting the way it is in real life. I bet in real life... Half the people would hate Superman because he has more powers than they do, and it's not fucking fair, right? I think that's what I got. It's not fair but, that Superman has powers. But do you remember, like, when he went to that Mexico? Those Mexico people were, like, praising him. 
in Mexico? Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't even know there was any fucking Mexico in the movie, and I didn't fall asleep on this one. Well, maybe the Mexicans are more open-minded than the Americans. Maybe that's a maybe that's one of the uh, morals of the story. So here's another thing, Benny. I've said this about just about every new fucking movie. The action scenes where there's a fight. Jump cut, and then a jump cut. Mm -hmm, yeah. You know what a jump cut yeah. is? It's like, it's two seconds of a scene. Jump cut, jump cut. Jump cut. Jump cut. Yeah, endless fucking jump cuts, and it's like, I, I can't even tell who's kicking whose ass. And then, then when it's not jump cut, it's CGI. Don't you think, like, the whole <laughs> yeah. thing? It's like a cartoon. It really is. It's like a fucking cartoon. It's like Doomsday. That was CGI. <laughs> And I remember, and, and this movie, Benny, you probably don't remember this cartoon. It was called Super Friends. Do you remember Super Friends? I actually do. When I was little, I had like a DVD of it. And, and, and that's what this is setting up. I guess it's like trying to be like Marvel Avengers. Justice League. But Justice League. See, we didn't call it Justice League when I was growing up. We called it Super Friends. And it had Batman and Robin and Superman and Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Oh, and Aquaman was in this movie too. And it, we have to agree on this. He's you think he, I think he's the gayest superhero. How much crime is there underwater where you need some guy that's friends with a bunch of fish to come and fucking save you? And a spear. Right. Don't forget his awesome spear. And a spear. Yeah, and uh, here he comes with an army of jellyfish. Oh, uh, look out. He's riding on a giant fucking stingray dolphin. or a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, uh, ooh, he's scaring me now, riding on a fucking fish. porpoise. Yeah, or a puffer fish, or yeah. some kind of stupid fucking fish. And the other thing is, Superman can breathe in outer space, so I'm sure he can breathe underwater. So can't Superman pretty much solve any fucking crime that Aquaman can solve underwater? Yeah. So anyway, they're showing that Aquaman is probably going to be in this next movie. And, and the next movie, I can guarantee there's going to be a submarine or something like that, right? Just so missiles. Aquaman, yeah, yeah, underwater missiles, so Aquaman can have something to fucking do. Don't forget about, like, the Flash and um, oh, Wonder yeah. Woman and Cyborg. Yeah, and the Flash and Wonder Woman were in this, too. But you know what they had, Benny, when I had super friends and I was a kid? Yeah. It yeah. was trying to teach people not to be racist and to get along. There was, like, there was a superhero from every race, like, every color and every, like, they had this guy, Black Bolton, and he was black, and he would throw lightning bolts, and he could fly. And the thing is, I thought it was more racist. Why do you have to name him Black Bolton? Why can't you just name him Bolton? Because it's pointing out that he's black, right? And then they had a, a Apache chief. And he would do this. He was just like an Indian guy. And he would go, uh, he said something, and then he would be like 20 feet tall. He would turn into a giant. And Superman could still kick his ass, but it was just to, to include everybody, to include the Indians. Yeah, you know what I mean? Well, Indians. And then there was a Chinese guy. I forget his name. He was like the human tornado or something. Like his bottom from the waist down, he turned into a tornado and he would just fly. And, and he cool was though. Chinese. It is pretty fucking cool. But they had to make sure they had every race. But they didn't have any gay superheroes. Today they would have gay superheroes and transgender, like a Bruce Jenner superhero <laughs> that used to be a guy. He would be like, wonder, <laughs> I used to be a man, but now I'm a woman. And he would be really fucking popular. Probably in Mexico, too. And they didn't have a Mexican um Maybe they have, like, bird superheroes. They did. They had Birdman, but I think he was from uh, Avengers. Okay. Oh, yeah, Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. Or I thought Hawk. Isn't his name Hawk? He's a Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Well, whatever. See, the superheroes get very confusing to me, especially that Superman can do all this shit. Wonder Woman I was definitely digging, and I hope they just have a, a movie with just Wonder Woman. Maybe. Uh, well, I'm going to see that, because she's damn good-looking, don't you think, Bunny? Mm -hmm. I, I really found her attractive, Wonder Woman. Lois Lane is a pain in the ass in every Superman movie. I'm not saying Lois isn't cute, but she's a pain in the ass and always getting into trouble. You ever notice that, too, yeah. Benny? And she's more trouble than she's worth. Superman should find a new girlfriend, is what I think. A girlfriend that isn't a reporter and always in the middle. She's fucking nosy. You know what? I, I think that by nature, reporters are fucking nosy. He needs a girlfriend that minds her own fucking business and maybe likes to uh, clean the house. Clean the house and cook some sandwiches for him would be nice. You know? And uh, But Lois Lane's a pain in the fucking ass. In every fucking movie. Even in the old movies.
Yeah. And you don't remember this either. Did, did you ever see the 1978 movie with Superman, I think Benny? I saw it like once. What happened was Lois Lane died, okay, in a car. She got crushed in an earthquake. And you know what Superman did? He flew around the earth so fucking fast that the whole earth went backwards in time. Okay? And then he just stopped when it went back to the time before she got crushed in the car. And he fucking saved her. So I don't understand that, too. If Superman can do that, why doesn't he just do that every time he gets in trouble? Like, every time something gets fucked up, he'll be like, oh, I'll just fly around the Earth until this fucked up thing happened, and then I'll change it there. Yeah. You know why, though? Yeah. Movie. Yeah. Because movie. Because movie. Yeah. You can't do that because it's already been fucking done. All you right. It would be funny if it was a Batman versus Superman in, like, the 80s. It was, like, the Christopher Reeve Superman. Against Michael Keaton, Batman. Yeah. yeah, that would be like. Uh, I don't know how good that would be. But I like. I like the way you're thinking about that. I think that would be awesome, Benny. I agree with you. Or George Clooney. Or George Clooney. Yeah, because George Clooney was also Batman, and so was Ben Affleck, and they kind of look the same. Christian Bale. And Christian Bale. Hmm. See, you know all these old time. Uh, actors, but I don't know your new actors, and I'm not interested in knowing them. Like I said, they all look the same to me. I'm definitely getting old, you know, and I just want to watch the same, I want shit I'm comfortable with, and you know what else made me uncomfortable? Because this whole movie, I'm like anxiety prone, it's like, I don't know what's going on. And I was kind of expecting to have Morgan Freeman in there, because, <laughs> you know why? Because... Yeah. Uh, really well, no, well, because Avengers had Samuel L. Jackson, and I'm like, all right, well, Morgan Freeman will probably be in this one, because either you get one or the other, right? You're, you're either going to get Samuel L. Jackson or you're going to get Morgan Freeman. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. Like, at least I feel like Morgan Freeman would have grounded me, and I would have been like, all right, now I'm in familiar territory. Yeah. We had Lawrence Fishburne, but he was just the head of the newspaper. Yeah. You know, he wasn't a fucking bad guy or a good guy. So don't you agree with that? I would have liked Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he was like, even along the line, you know, would just say something like, hi. Or something like that. Yeah, he could have said hi, at least they could have fucking had Morgan Freeman for that. Oh, you know what was it, what I thought was funny? When Superman died, and here's a spoiler, but I, I doubt he's going to be dead forever, because otherwise you can't have the next movie. The, the uh, pussy behind us started crying. There was somebody sitting behind us, was, and you laughed at him, Benny. And I was like, Benny, Benny, somebody behind us is crying. And then you started fucking laughing. And I'm like, and honestly, the movie wasn't that... Yeah, the characters funny. weren't that developed yeah. where you really got attached to it. It didn't matter who the fuck died in the movie, okay? But this guy was crying like a fucking pussy. I know, and then I was trying not to laugh at him too, Benny. That wasn't very nice of you now, I have to say. my eyes when Superman died. What happened? Superman just... I know, he was, well, he really liked Superman. And the kid next to me that had to sit next to me, he wasn't crying. But he was really into it. He was too into the movie. I didn't like sitting next to him at all, Benny. I should have made you switch seats with me. You should have sat next to that fuck. I got a stranger neck. One time we sat together at the theaters. Oh, yeah, you did get a creepy stranger. I forget what movie that was. But every once in a while, I think it's good for you to sit next to a fucking stranger. I don't. So here's the other thing, right? So Batman just fucking hated Superman. Fucking hated him. And like I said, I think he was jealous, okay? And Superman was not crazy about Batman either, but he didn't have that kind of hatred. Superman really could give a fuck. But then they're fighting to the fucking death, all right? And Superman's almost fucking dead by Batman. And then he says, uh, excuse me, he says something. And all of a sudden, Batman clicks, and they're best buddies, right? Didn't they go from hating each other to, to best friends immediately? And then they even started talking, like, yeah, Martha, because his mom. But we don't want to give all the spoilers away, Benny. See? You see what you did now? You just ruined this movie for so many fucking people. Sorry. For like a hundred people that may or may not watch this. But then again, we're at like the 14 minute mark. And odds are hardly anybody's going to be watching by this point, you know? Spoilers. All right. So anyway, they go from fucking hating to each other to their best friends. And then they hated each other through the entire fucking movie. And then when Batman goes and saves Superman's mom, remember that? And then... Uh, Super, he tells Superman's mom, oh, I'm a friend to your son. So they weren't even friends. You know what I mean? They weren't fucking friends. And then the other monster... Doom. What was the name of that monster? Doomsday. Doomsday? Yeah, Doomsday. He, he kind of looked like... Uh, what was that guy's name? The Emperor in fucking the new Star Trek. He's like a, a big island, though. 
he, he kind of looked like a big golem. Anyway, he had all the powers of Superman <laughs> and all the powers of Lex Luthor. Plagueis. Plagueis. Don't yeah, he looked like Darth Plagueis. Plagueis. He he just looked like your average. Didn't they call him like Snooky or something? Snoke. Supreme, Snoke. Supreme Leader Snoke. Supreme Leader Snoke. He kind of looked like that, except the fucking giant. And again, the the fight scene, just endless fucking jump cuts of like, who's what? What is happening? And then you get, I, I just get so fucking confused. It hurts my fucking head. I really, it really does. And I start getting shit pains, and my nuts start tightening up. It's like I get so fucking confused. It fucking pisses me off, Benny. I don't know how you can watch these movies. Somehow Superman died. It wound up that he fucking died. Even though he had every chance in the world. Remember when him and Batman were first fighting? He could have kicked Batman's ass and killed him plenty of times. Except he had to stop and stand and talk about he bullshit. Said, he said this one. He said, if I wanted it, you'd be dead already. Right. So he should have just killed him right there. But movie. The answer yeah. is fucking movie. Let's Why that couldn't friends. fucking happen. Let's hug it out. So, right. So, the douchebag American people in the entire fucking movie hate Superman. Oh, well, Superman, this isn't fair, because we're all Bernie Sanders voters, and everybody has to be exactly the fucking same, because we're communists slash fucking socialists. And uh, it's not fair that Superman has superpowers, even though he saves our stupid asses from ourselves and from all kinds of stupid shit all the time. But we hate him. We don't like him. Not crazy about Batman either, but we're going to jump on Batman's bandwagon because Batman at least doesn't have superpowers. He just has a lot of fucking cool gear. So they hate his fucking guts, right? And then as soon as Superman dies, what do they do? They all cry like a bunch of fucking pussies. Oh, all of a sudden, oh, our beloved Superman. Oh, fuck. Now Superman's dead. Oh, fuck us, right? Yeah, you know, and I didn't feel bad for them at all. It's like, fuck all of you. It's fuck you all, fucking two-faced fucks. That's how I felt about it. Once it, like, here's the thing, like, why didn't the Flash, or um, Aquaman, or Cyborg show up? That's what I, I was waiting, remember when the spear was in the water, yeah. and Lois was down there in the fucking water for some reason too? I was expecting Aquaman, that would have been the perfect time to have Aquaman come and get the fucking spear, him and like a fucking, him and a shark, <laughs> him and, or, or a big giant eel, <laughs> yeah, and he could have came... But then he would not he would have had nothing else to do. Because I don't know how good Aquaman is out of the fucking water. I don't even know if he has super strength or anything. But but you're right. Because they're showing all this shit about the Flash. And they're showing... Uh, I think the Flash was like Pakistani, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like, why was he white and had... I don't know. Because like, I think the same reason as Super Friends. I think uh, they're trying to show that every people of every race can have a superhero. Cyborg? I never even, in Cyborg must be new, because I don't know who the fuck he is, but I, except for this, he looks like, like the Frankenstein monster or something, right? Yeah. You should see him with all these robotic parts on him. He's like a Terminator, kind of? Kind of. He's, he's a, yeah, a, a cyborg, yeah. Right, like, yeah. Half man. Yeah, I'm like a Superman, you're like, shut up, you stupid fuck, a cyborg. A cyborg is not a fucking Terminator, because a Terminator, well, kind of, because a Terminator has living true. tissue on the outside of them, and that's why yeah. they can travel through time, if you remember right. And see, see how little this video makes sense that me and Benny are making? This is how little the movie made sense to me. You know, it just makes absolutely no fucking sense, just like me and Benny fucking, uh, talking out our asses. And how did the movie even end? It, it was, was it just the funeral? Was that the end of the movie? Oh, yeah, they threw a clump of dirt on Superman's coffin, right? Lois did. And then the dirt started rising a little bit. What are you doing? What the fuck are you going, Ben? Oh, you were showing how it was rising. That's grass, Benny. That's not dirt. All right, get over here. Come on, we need to finish this up. We need to finish this shitty video up. So people can press not like, so people can thumb down it, right? You know, if we don't finish this, people aren't going to be able to thumb down it. Yeah, so I'm going to say, yeah, I'm glad I saw it, because at least me and Benny got the bond a little bit, right, Benny? Yeah. Fucking way to go. And me and Benny have still been hanging out, even though that Benny's not on the videos anymore. It's kind of like, uh, we just needed a creative break from each other, I'm thinking. Right, don't yeah. you, Benny? Like a band, like when the Beatles, remember the Beatles, that band? Well, anyway, they were a really famous band, and then sometimes you need to do a solo career for a little while, just because, you, you know, John Lennon had to do his own thing, and Paul McCartney had to do his own thing. Not that I think 
that uh, this channel is anything like the Beatles at all. And we weren't a band. We were just two people. You know who we would be more like? Yeah. Wham. You remember George Michael? No. Well, he was, I think they were both fags. Both of them were gay. Not that you and me are gay. But it's fine being gay. But anyway, George Michael and this other guy, made a, they were this band, Wham. And uh, then George Michael did a solo career. And he was really famous. George Michael, he did a song, Faith, and he used to like to shake his ass around, and, and super like flamboyant gay type of guy. Maybe not that flamboyant, but super flaming gay. And I don't know if the other guy was gay. I don't even know what the other guy's name is, but I feel like that would be me. I would be the other guy that nobody really ever heard of after we split up with our career and I did my solo career. I would be like the other guy from Wham! And you would be George Michael, because people like you better than me. Do you agree what? with See you? All right, Penny. So I'm gonna give. Let's give it a on a on a one to ten. I'm gonna give Batman versus Superman. I'm gonna give it. I would give it a two, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a five because of Wonder Woman. If Wonder Woman wasn't in it, it would get a fucking two. I mean, it's getting a two because it confused me, and I just didn't get the whole concept. Benny, what are you going to give it? I'm going to give it a seven. A seven. Do you want to say why? Well, I kind of think it's like, it was okay. It was like good and bad at times. Yeah. All right, well, Benny's giving it a seven because it was good and bad at times. I, I think that's as good an answer as fucking anybody else. Yeah, it's like a C. It's like a C, yeah, and a C's not bad. You're happy if you get a C, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, Benny gives it a C. I give it a D. Or an F. <laughs> but Fs aren't that bad either, right? <laughs> F means at least you tried and you got a fucking grade. It's better than a uh, no grade at all, right? Yep. All right, so it, it gets a uh, C and an F. However, it turned out from that on a number system of 1 to 10. But that's all right. That doesn't make sense. Just like the movie. Just like this shitty video. Anyway... If you guys watch this long, if you're the one person that watched this long, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. Um, give Benny a thumbs up. And uh, till next time, your struggles are my struggles and Benny's struggles. Um, and we're out of here, Benny, right? Yep, yeah. Fuck yeah, we're out of here. Bye.